Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome to Channeling Career. Today is Sunday, April the 25th, 2021. And so let's begin by just doing a brief meditation. And whenever the energies um, start to become more potent, then I'll start the channeling process. So let's just set the intention to focus on our own breathing. So take a deep breath in. And let it all go. As you follow your own breathing, the rhythm of your own breathing, just focus on the act of breathing itself. And when you focus on your own breathing, you can let go of thoughts much easier. So just follow the rhythm of your own breathing for a few more breaths, just to get present, to come into this moment, to be with your own breath to be with your own rhythm. And each time you breathe out, allow yourself to let go of any thoughts that is taking you away from this moment. And simply just be with your own breathing. Empty your thoughts as much as possible. And when you feel yourself starting to feel more relaxed and your thoughts is becoming more quiet, relatively more quiet, then you can start to set the intention to move your focus into your heart. And imagine that you can actually breathe in to your heart. And as you breathe out, you breathe out from your heart as well. And you're just using your breath to clear out anything that may be weighing on your heart and allow your heart to become lighter. Your heart is at the center of your being. So use your breath to clear out anything that may be distracting you in this moment. Let go of the distraction and simply be with your heart. Be with the center of your being. Your heart is where your soul communicates with you. It is where the invisible part of you connects with your body, with the visible part of you. So use this breathing in and breathing out from your heart to assist you in uniting both the visible and the non-visible part of you. 
so that all of you can come together through your breath. And open yourself up. Open yourself up to receive communication from your soul, from your higher self. Allow yourself to be aligned. Align your body with your heart, with your mind, with your emotional body. Allow all of you to be in harmony and synchronized. Allow yourself to experience your own beingness. Allow yourself to truly be connected with what it is that is important to you. Let go of all the thousands and thousands of input, of ideas that really is distracting you from what is important. You are important. You flowing with the universe is important. It is only when you flow with the universe that you can truly be at one with yourself. That is when you can truly feel loved feel safe, feel seen when you start to see yourself, when you allow yourself to be seen to come into focus. To start to take yourself seriously. When you don't have to hide from the pain and suffering and trauma that you have learned to bury or disconnect it and try not to think about them. When you start to see yourself, to see the real you and what is truly important to you, then all those drama and traumas 
start to slide off. They don't need to make sense anymore because they are simply experiences from the past that no longer applies. There is no requirement for you to still keep them around, to still carry them, especially not to bury them in your body. You don't matter anymore. And when you slow down and truly start to tap into what is important, you are important. Your essence. The real you is precious and important. Compared to the experiences and the dramas and the traumas, they are nothing by comparison, they are less than nothing. They are not even happening right now. They are in the past. Let them be in the past. Come into this moment with yourself and truly start to connect with who you are, the magnificent, beautiful, magical, that is who you truly are. When you're connected with the truth, it gives you the strength to let go of illusions, let go of what does not serve you anymore. When you start to connect with the real you, you start to connect with the most precious part of you, the creator you. That part of you is the most valuable, can you see that, can you see that your essence, just you, just by being you, It's already more magnificent and beautiful than anything that is man-made. The most beautiful palace in the world is nothing 
compared to your true essence. The most beautiful palace in the world cannot comfort, cannot heal. It can do nothing. You being who you truly are, seeing your true gifts, allowing others to experience your true gifts, that is more precious and the most beautiful palace in the world. It's worth billions and billions cannot even come close to what you can offer from your heart. When you connect it to your true essence, connected to the creator essence. That connection is the most brilliant light in the universe. Do not shortchange yourself. Do not allow yourself to be belittled. You are never taught or told how magnificent your company, your presence truly are. You have been taken for granted and you yourself has taken you for granted most of all. Can you not see how magnificent you are? And when you see, you always try to see outside. The most magnificent view is the inner vision. And when you can connect with the light, with the brilliance that is within you. When you see that, when you truly see yourself, the 
without any judgment, without any expectation, to simply see yourself as who you are in this moment. You allow your own magnificence to come out, to be revealed. All of the experiences that is outside of you becomes a distraction. Take time. Take time to look inside. To see yourself without any judgment. See yourself to look into your own eyes and not see eyes, but see your soul in there, the essence of the creator in there. Connecting with that essence. It's going to allow that essence to come out even more. Connect with your heart. Connect with the center of your being. From there, have absolutely no expectation, absolutely no judgment. And when you're from there, when you connect to the center of your being, can start to feel your way out. Start to grow the center of you out.
in that way. Your energy, the energy of your body is coming from your center. And the center of your being is your portal to infinite energy. It is where everything comes from. It is where everything comes from nothing. It is a portal from the creator source itself. When you allow your energy to come from that center, You can al allow yourself to connect with the people around you. With energy that comes from your center. And you connect with people from their center. That is when the different aspects of source can come together again as one. how different the world really can look. When you see the world in this way, from the inside, outward. You're the one that actually controls what has your energy. You control where you focus your energy. Your focus is very valuable. A lot of people are clamoring for your focus. Do not throw your own focus away so cheaply. Choose wisely what you want to focus on, what you focus on. You magically will bring more off to you. And when you learn how to See from inside out. And 
you will be able to attract more of what it is that is going to support you. Because your own energy attracts that to you. See with intention, focus with intention. When you learn to truly see, especially seeing yourself, honoring what you see, honoring what is within yourself. You will start to train yourself or retrain yourself on what is important, what is valuable. You are the most valuable. All of earth is here for you to see. All of Earth is here to compete for your attention. It is precisely because your attention is valuable. So vote, vote with your eyes. What do you want to see more of? Vote with your eyes. Give your attention to only those things that you want to see more of. It is okay to not know about disaster. It is okay to not pay attention to those. And the more attention you pay to those, you're in fact voting for more of those to happen. And if you, if in doubt, if you're not sure what it is that you really want to focus on, why not focus 
and seeing yourself. Spend more time with yourself. Get to know you better. Vote for yourself. Vote for what you want to experience more of. It is okay to allow your mind to be peaceful. Your mind can perceive many thousands, even millions of thoughts in a short span of time. Just because your mind can conceive of those thoughts, that does not mean you have to pay attention to any of them unless you choose to. Learn to not be alarmed by your own thoughts. It takes time, it takes time to discipline yourself, to focus on only what you want to experience more of. At first, your unfocused mind will want to sift and go through thousands and thousands of thoughts. Most of which means nothing to you. But because that is what it has been accustomed to do. to be distracted. It takes discipline to learn, to learn how to focus only on the things that is worthy of your time. Your soul has a very different temple than your, man, your mind. Your mind can go through thousands of thoughts, but your soul 
can only focus on a few at a time. And that is by design. It is better to focus on one experience at a time, to truly enjoy that experience, to truly have a full body experience of that, and to race through and only sample a fraction of an experience. Flow, flow at the speed of your soul. It is okay to slow down. It is hard to slow down. It's so much easier to go through thousands of thoughts and not be connected to any of them. But when you learn how to focus on just a select few and allow yourself to fully experience each one of your thought creation, to allow yourself to have the full body experience, It's a very different experience to live by the speed of your soul. You may want to try it sometimes to slow down a bit. It would seem a little strange at first. It would seem very boring at first. Because we have been so used to skimming, to just skip over experiences. And when you allow yourself to slow down, 
and fully experience, full body experience. You will learn the importance of focusing on what it is that you actually want. It gives you more joy to have a full body experience of something that really brings you joy. It actually is the sign of a traumatized mind when you cannot slow down because your nervous system have been overwhelmed by trauma that it cannot bear to experience fully anymore. It can only <clears throat> skim experiences because it is afraid to feel the depth. It is time to clear out those trauma and truly allow you to experience and be in the moment. It is worth that experience. You are worth that investment. When you are connected to your experience, when you are in the moment with your experience, then even simple things become joyful. Simple things like looking at a sunset, simple things like having a cup of well-brewed tea. Simple things like spending time connecting with a friend. And that truly is what we came for. That's why Eternal soul wants to come and experience the simple, magnificent things. He 
those are the moments when our body feels truly alive is to be able to experience fully where we are not thinking about what happened the day before, nor are we thinking about what will happen tomorrow. It is when we are just here in this moment, experiencing everything fully. That is when we can actually enjoy all that life has to offer. We see you. And it is our wish that you can see yourself too. Can see the true beauty and magnificence of your own being, of the simple, magnificent moments of now. To feel the connection, the connection with yourself and the connection with all of creation. When you're in the moment, you have access to all of those. And that is what we wish for you. We love you. And thank you for allowing us to communicate with you. to share a bit of what we experience with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.